Hello YouTube. Today I'm just going to do a video showing you some of the Avon cologne bottles that we have, a fraction of them anyway. I'm doing some painting in the living room and these are inside of a kind of like a little area of shelving and that has to get painted too so I took them out so they could be dusted down. They can all get painted and put back in but these are some of the vehicles that we have and I'll kind of take a little bit more time on each one of them we'll take a look at them good video to see if it's kind of out there in case you're collecting any of these cars but not all of them are full some of them have liquid in them okay we'll look at them a little bit more close here these are some of them aren't labeled a lot of the uh, turn of the 20th century style cars. Passenger cars, that all looks like a Duesenberg. It is a Duesenberg. I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of a race car. <clears throat> some tankard trucks. And you can see the dust on these. That's what I was talking about. You don't want to keep dusting them down because you're going to be wearing something off. But when I do these shelves, I'm going to be putting a barrier up so it's just not going to get dusty and won't have to clean them so often. Look, at, there's a little hippie van. Isn't that neat? Motorcycle in the back. Imagine back in here is where you would have the lid. Another one here. 1948 Chrysler Town and Country. See all the pieces come off and they reveal where the lid is. There it is. <clears throat> Some old style yellow cabs. Looks like a Dodge Daytona, 6970 Dodge Daytona, Superbird, something like that. That looks like an old Ford Coupe. Yeah, 1936 Ford. Here's a neat one. Ford Ranger. Nineteen seventy three Ford Ranger. Isn't that nice? Uh, Avon on the back instead of Ford. Yeah, they're pretty dusty. <clears throat> There's a couple of old, older ones. It's old Chev, I think. No label. Thunderbird? Uh, 55 protein hair lotion hmm <clears throat> yeah we could all use a little of that wild country aftershave yeah I know this is a really popular one wild country what is that a little Porsche or Ferrari or some kind of weird thing the semis are kind of neat how they come apart. This is a talc powder bottle. The other one is a cologne, I think. Talc powder, yeah, and then cologne in the front. So that's kind of neat. You get two products. You get the talc and the cologne up front, and the cologne would be, you guessed it, Wild Country Aftershave. No surprise there. So, yeah, that's just kind of a little overall picture of there's a little Porsche. This obviously looks like a Jaguar. This is a neat little sports car. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe somebody out there does. A lot of them may look like at times that they were auction pieces. Okay, there's a Greyhound bus. 
Isn't that cool? <clears throat> and you can see what I was talking about, how some of them will leak over time. Well, that'll actually drip onto your shelving or whatever, and it'll actually rot the paint. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. That's why I got all these out here. some old fire engines okay I'll go and take a look in the other cabinet I'll just show you a couple more there in fact I can show you all of the whole collection I'll do the cars first whatever I have for cars and we'll just go around the whole house and just kind of take a look at all of them yeah some of them are going to be dusty because they do have a uh, pellet stove here and they got a fan on it, you know, all that goes and blows around dust and It lands on these but I'm trying to make it so I don't have to clean them as much You don't want to have to be doing that. So I'll be putting up a barrier The wife is quite proud of her little Avon museum collection, I guess so Okay, let's go into the other cabinet. We'll have a look at some of that stuff And this is full <clears throat> on the top all Avon bottles a lot of them have liquid still in them that looks like a 76 Ford van Miro van I used to have one like that there's genie lamps little Volkswagen rabbit or golf or something like that a Jetta airplanes coal oil lamps Vanities Skidoo my favorite one is a Buick. I had a 1951 Buick Super 8 when I was in high at, just after high school and I sold it and I cried for days over it but every time I see this front here that iconic front it just kind of takes me back to the early early 90s And there's lamps. Okay, what do we have under here? We have baseball hair trainer liquid. There's a slugger brush. There's a football player. All these are still Avon cologne bottles. There's like a little monkey there with a football helmet on. There's some iconic buildings. It's a clock. Here's a neat one. Let's move the clock out of the way. Isn't that cool? And here's some presidential. Some of these are really hard to find, especially when you're up here in Canada. And you see the white heads at the back. Those are definitely collectors. Uh, Donald doesn't belong to the one thing. We just have them hanging out in there, though. <clears throat> Betsy Ross. This is a lot of it's Americana. And here's one. Dollars and cents. So you got bowling pins, there's a set of golf clubs, all the decanter bottles, all the tops come off. There's a golfer back there. Some of them are really hard to get because they are survivors. You take a look at that golf club. All that has to happen in the 40, 50 years this thing's existed is it to fall over and that golf club shatters and breaks. So they are hard to find that are in really good condition. And I know the wife was on a hunt for them, so... She died, did find some of them. Okay, so there's like even little kids' ones. These are neat. The coins. There's a gas pump at the back. It's obviously got no liquid in it. The coins are really something. There's your iconic 1877 United States Indian head penny. Isn't that a beauty? beauty. 
There's your silver dollar. And then what kind of silver dollar is it? Is it a peace dollar or is it a Morgan or what is it? It's a Morgan. The iconic 1866 Morgan. It's not something, eh? Those are beautiful. There's a domino in the back. Looks like an old Phyllis Shave electric razor. There's telephones. There's a jukebox. There's a jukebox. There's a jukebox. But I shouldn't have showed you the rest of the house. I'm kind of in the midst of cleaning and stuff right now. There's a guitar. A big inkwell with a feather pen. An old, old style phone. A big moose in the back. Oh, there's stuff even behind all that moose. There's just a lot. We've got a lot. These ones don't get as dusty. Well, they're inside of a cabinet. So, yeah. But this just kind of gives you an idea of like what there's all out there. There's another one. This is an awesome one. 1913 Buffalo Nickel. Isn't that something? Like Avon, they did such nice work. And you can see my dirty hands. That's actually, that's not soap, that's paint. It's dry paint though. I was um, painting a little stand there. Yeah, so now I'll go to the bottom shelf. Here's some more. Iconic American. Like there's a stagecoach. The American Eagle. Look at that Marlin. Like these, some of these are so impossible to find. You imagine that Marlin falls over. This is maybe, it's probably close to more to 50, 60 years old. That thing falls over, it's broken. You know, like they're really something. And there's boots, cowboy boots. And what do we got? Oh, yeah, a fire truck, a big fire truck right out in the front. It's kind of wicked, eh? And of course, it's probably, I've never actually looked, the back half is probably where the cologne sits, and the front half is, or maybe the front half is where the cologne sits. And the back half is where some talc powder or something sits. There's a cowboy on a horse. Oh, there's a big fish back there, a really neat looking fish. Jumping out of the water. There's a big ship's wheel. Totem pole, that's a neat one. There's a teepee. Just some ornate looking little bottles. Some pipes, some of the pipes are neat. Look at that one. It's the shape of a big horse. It's obviously an American. Supposed to look like maybe George Washington's pipe or somebody. It's, looks like it's got something presidential. Possibly. Could be wrong. Okay, now let's take a look. The bottom shelf has got the coolest. There's more shelves. Oh, for sure there is. There's more shelves. I'll open it up. More shelves over there too. Look what we have here. Guns. All of these guns. These are all Avon cologne bottles. Like there is some insane guns in here. Bullets, guns. Oh the beer. I guess they all go hand in hand. 
There's like a, what they call a pepper box pistol. I think. Look at that. Is that neat? Yep, a pepper box pistol. Point Clair, Quebec. A lot of them were made in Point Clair, Quebec. Just have a look at those derringers. Look at how nice and shiny those are. Old cap and ball. No, I guess that's just a... Yeah, it could be. And there is a mirror in behind there, so that's why it kind of looks like there's two on that one. But look at how nice those are. Derringer. All cologne bottles. And then there's like, what is that? That's a wood stove. Aren't some of those really nice? And bullets. Okay. <clears throat> few more in here. Little Siamese cat staring at you. The angel with wings. That's a cat laying down. Another cat. church and in the back there is a little American Stein there's a couple of neat ones that's a peacock full of cologne that one's full there's a couple little birds there's a frog two wedding mice More cats. A polar bear on a block of ice. It looks like a mouse on a block of cheese. Okay, what do we got over down in these ones? Here, there's a lot. These are all covered, so I don't have to do any cleaning on these. But once again, a lot of these are all perfume bottles. Women's perfume. This is more of a women's theme, I guess you will. So let's have a look. Let's see what's in there. It's some really neat looking. That's obviously a powder container. It's a lot of them. They're all Avon. Even got Cinderella's glass slipper. Ooh, there's a little bit of cologne in there. A rose. This one's really neat. This one's hard to find too. Isn't that something? And there's a. See, that's a plastic bottle, so that one would probably be filled with kids' bubble bath or something like that. See, now, and you get down here, this is more of the child kind of themes, because a lot of these, these aren't cologne bottles, these are talc bottles or bubble bath, like this guy is 
holding the Canadian flag is kind of an iconic character and it's a tough one to find here too. Here's one I had hanging from my mirror of my truck. It actually put potpourri in there. But I won't take any of these out because they're all kind of stuck in there, but it gives you an idea. These are some of the women. Victorian, Edwardian, period. Not too much Art Deco period stuff in here. It's just all real, real life character type. I don't know what you'd call that. That guy's missing his umbrella. Oh, there it is. So yeah, there's a lot of different style women in dresses, flower girls. And there's even a pig in a hard hat. Okay. Oh, there's more shelves. I think I got more animals to look. I got some put onto the floor here too. Oh, the balloon's still waving. Let's go check those out. I'll take you to this cabinet. <clears throat> Look up on top. It's a little Christmas themed Avon. Little Santa bottles and candles and Christmas type decanters. A lot of soap pumpers too that you used to have by your sink for washing dishes. Different kind of decanters for different things. There was like old style Christmas bulbs. There's a decanter for or a pump style soap pumper. Whatever the hell you'd call that thing. There's some more. Actually, this isn't Avon. I found this metal detecting. That bottle. This one here I found metal detecting. Did some research on it actually. Turns out that that bottle was produced anywhere from 1840 to 1870 from the Louis Ferrer Company. It's a mustard company, French mustard. So, okay, going back to the bottles, I okay, guess there's some ones that look like beer bottles back there, ones that look like telephone insulators. There's one that remember Brute 33 they used to call. Well, now it's just Brute. Got the old brute looking bottles. There's some bells, a thermos. I said again, once again, these are all. That one doesn't go on there. Another does this one, but all the rest of them are all uh, Avon, either carrying bubble bath soap or cologne. And then this is some Avon stuff, but it's just the uh, storage containers. Nothing. I don't know. A lot of people seem to like that stuff. But okay. There's another Avon piece. They're all over here. Okay, now I'm going to kind of take a look up on top. These are all Avon Steins. I don't know if you can see up there, but... Not that, or that. But there's Avon Steins up there. Real neat looking ones. Yeah, 
big Ernie cookie jar. This is Butterworth bottle. I don't know why that's up there. That must be maybe a racist or something. Okay, I'll take a look at some more. We have up on shelves some more animals. There's some more up on shelves. A big lion. Colt or a foal laying down. St. Bernard dog, it's kind of neat. You see what I'm talking about? How some of them get dusty? That's a Kodiak or a black bear or something. I don't know what they would call that. It is Faithful Laddie. Oh, that's not a bear, that's a a coley and here's some more birds and a lion that's the bear right there and the buffalo that's pretty neat okay now I'm going to show you some of the ones we have on the floor here <clears throat> These all got to get cleaned before they're put back in the shelves. So these are the shelves in there where they were sitting. So that's got to get painted and everything put back in there. Now let's start over here. Look at these. Here's this is some tools. Looks like tools. So there's a. You can see the dust on them. There's a stamp. You can actually really use it as a rubber stamp too paid motherfucker okay and then there's a pipe wrench a bolt a big screwdriver another pipe wrench a level hammer and anvil the drill is kind of neat that yeah, looks like a little oiler it's obvious another oil spark plug and a roller skate another lamp looking thing see and then they had some of this kind of stuff it's not so desirable but I think it holds letters or jewelry or something because these little points are bent out so you can actually hook something around it so I imagine and it's feels like wire it's not plastic so it's not going to break right away Anyways, there's a lamp. A lot of people desire this lamp. I think it's kind of ugly, but they really like it. <clears throat> they also made chess pieces. So there's chess pieces here. And just don't mind the dust on them. But yeah, you can see what I'm talking about, how they need to be dusted. There is all kinds of knights. That one doesn't have a tag. Let's see if we can find one with the tag. So you can see what kind of cologne is in them. Well, maybe they don't have tags. This one's kind of neat. This one's full. You can kind of see the amber glass. So some of the chess pieces, the, the knights. There's an, even another knight here. It's a different style. And then there's a queen. And there's a king from a different type of set. And here's a bishop, obviously from a different type of set. Another knight, a big knight. There's no king. There's another queen. You can see there's just different styles that they made too. There's a rook. You know they made different styles of them. Some with chrome tops. Some of them colored, painted white. Some no glass looking. Whatever. But you kind of get an idea of those. Here's some clocks and time pieces. 
like stopwatches, barometer set, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and there's another old phone. Some old machinery. Old lamp or lanterns. This is kind of neat. It's deceiving. It's a spool of thread. It's full of like, I don't know, like button it's got a button in it and the button is all soap they're each like little soap packets which is kind of neat none of them were used but i don't think a lot of avon stuff got used i think it's people bought it because of the bottles and stuff like that for collection for collection i know that a lot of people did use the wild country because i was even in my days i remember people <laughs> plastering that crap on it's like lifesavers that's more soap Oh, <clears throat> this thing, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's supposed to be like a candle. Like the eternal flame or something. It said something weird on it. Nope. There's a pump. Fire hydrant. Mailbox. There's a couple more birds. More lamp lanterns. Yeah, there's even a school desk with an apple on it. That's kind of different. That one's a real popular one, real common. You see that whenever it's people have them for sale. These ones are neat too. Not a lot of people have these. If they do, all the chrome coloring and all that has been wiped off because they've been dusted down. They've been sitting out and they've dusted them down and all that stuff wipes off after a while. Or if the cologne leaks and runs onto that paint, it'll knock the paint off them. So I'll just kind of show you a few more we got in the bathroom. Well, here's a couple here that's, that's hanging out there. I don't know what that is. That's an elephant. There's like a wiener dog and another bear. There's a big gavel. Um, I don't think I got any of those stuff there. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's some other things. There's another soap pump or decanter type deal. Is an ET hanging out there looking at you? Um, yeah, I don't know if those are supposed to be bouquets of flowers. All these are Avon, a lot of them are powder. Um, nothing else in there. We take a trip to the basement and I'll show you a few more down there. Seems like it's having a hard time focusing in. There we go. So this is my basement. We have some down here too in pile. A lot of these are our talc powder bottles. Except that. I don't know why those are there. Um, there's some steins and soap dishes. Those little pigs, I don't think those are Avon. I can always look and see, but I don't think so. No. I mean, some of them are just scattered in and around. Those are Avon bottles there. Here's some more. Wild country. Okay. These are some of the boxes, but even these are dusty too. Yeah, that's nice. There's an old toy I got in 1982. Yeah, 
Radio Shack Armatron. Okay, uh, more bottles. Okay, this is bubble bath. Some of these are kind of neat. Right. Tennis racket, sweet honesty. What is that? Well, that's a clone. That's neat though. An angel looking bottle. And there's another one of those drills. That frog looking character guy. I think that is what they call Avon had a character named Bucky Beaver. That could be him. Uh, yeah, seahorse. This is like a really famous, iconic Avon looking uh, character. Bubble bath containers. And that looks like it's it for that. Yeah. So, like, I mean, there's quite a few Avon pieces we have, and there's more coming. So, yeah, we'll get another video out there, and uh, thanks for watching.